sailing on 1969 here so what do you do if you see a vehicle that you would love to take a ride in well you offer that vehicle's owner lunch to take you for a ride in it he doesn't have to accept the lunch <laughs> <laughs> so vp justin has got just such a vehicle that i've always wanted to ride in and here it is is this diesel or gasoline diesel diesel that is a beast very well padded apparently sunglasses set <laughs> I have no idea if you can even hear me now. <laughs> so what are you into eating? Uh, I'm good with, uh, good with whatever got something in mind let's uh let's do that uh well how far do you want to go is the question i've got time have you ever eaten at the journey up at 96th street i have that will be a little loud what's the old phrase in for a penny in for a pound i'm in for a pound so did you have to replace this when you uh Yep, new soft top, uh, brand new soft top and rear curtain that rolls down. Um, and then uh, I acquired uh, doors used um, from a guy that found through uh, his Facebook marketplace. Is there a fairly rich aftermarket amongst just people that oh, like yeah. are into this sort it's of thing? Rich is a light way to put it, yes. Really? Okay. Yeah. I've got a sophomore in high school in Cathedral right now, so... This is not on my horizon, but when we're empty nesters, if I need something to keep myself busy. Yeah, this would be it. Maintenance isn't too bad. Um, I pretty much got it set up this spring from when I acquired it, got it on the road, and haven't really touched it since. Um, since putting diesel, or other than putting diesel fuel in it. So. Do you do most of the maintenance on the rest of your vehicles too? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Josh, Josh talked about a, uh, like a rock crawler or something that you have. Yes, uh, so it's a 93 Jeep YJ on 40 inch tires, bead locks, locked axles, front and rear, one ton axles, four roll cage tires. Wow. Built to roll over and roll back over on the wheels and go. Was, is there a governor on these when they come from the... No, uh, but they only go about 55 mile an hour. It's a three-speed automatic. So okay. It uh, doesn't have a lot of, uh, of high-speed capability. Do you have to put your hazards on when you go 55 on 60? <laughs> It, uh, this has never been on the interstate, so 69 North is about all that I've been on. Um, I don't, uh, I don't put it on 465. It's right. Just, right. For me, it's an ice cream getter for my right. family and my. Right. 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 Yeah. If I live 1.8 miles from the plant, I could walk it or crawl it if I had to. <laughs> and I live one mile from the plant. So nice. Uh, a short ride for me. Nice. In the winter time, it takes longer to start a diesel truck than it does to get to work. Right, right. I worked once at a plant in uh, Greenfield. I lived, I think, four or five tenths of a mile from the plant, and it was the same way. I got a, I had an F-150 gas, and it never got warmed up before yep. I got there. I'm just like. Yep. So maintenance has been really low for me of course there are things that could be addressed but it 
runs and rides just fine. What did, like. what did you put in the back seat? What, uh, what, what are um, those out of? So these seats are out of a 2018 Chrysler Pacifica. Okay. They, uh, they fold and tumble, which is really nice, so I can fold them down flat. I have a set for the front as well, but there's more fabrication work to do. Right. And I just wanted to get it on the road and enjoy it. So you'll get a sense of how loud it'll be now. No, that's fine. It's not too loud, but... I was telling the planners, I said, you know, with $70,000, anybody could roll up to a party in a Corvette. But when you roll up in this, yeah. then you've arrived. That's right. I mean, it just idles like a diesel would idle. Yep. What, uh... The nice thing is you can't get a speeding ticket. <laughs> Literally, it's impossible. There's a cop right there. So, uh, so there's... This was, uh... <laughs> this was, uh, deployed in the Army. And okay. it's a convoy vehicle. This is for, um, a... For radio power. Okay. Uh, so I just haven't disconnected it. Mostly because it's more effort than it's worth. And sure. If, uh, for resale value purposes, leaving it as reasonably stock as possible or convertible back to stock would be ideal. Sure. Um, see, it's camouflage, so people don't know when they're cutting <laughs> in front of you. Half the drivers out there don't know when they're cutting in front of anybody anyway, so... And it doesn't help when you're uh, camouflaged, right? Right, right. The 
horn is pretty weak. <laughs> but it gets the job done. You know, they make twin trumpet air horns you could install yes. aftermarket. I've put those on a car before. Yes. They get people's attention quick. I've gotten the uh, single finger salute from those. <laughs> out of the uh, the Miata I had for years because I wanted to put an intake for the supercharger oh. around the aftermarket radiator yeah. so I'm, I'm pretty familiar with the heat <laughs> or with the uncomfortability of no air conditioning do the heaters work have you ever oh, fired yeah. them up oh, yeah. that's all right Justin you don't feel like don't feel like you need to fire them up just now <laughs> that if you ever want to replace the tires on this thing I imagine. Well so they're actually quite inexpensive. You can get a tire and wheel uh, surplus for about a hundred dollars. No kidding. Yeah. That's one of the least expensive items that you would find to replace on, on the vehicle. Everything is else nuts. is about eight hundred dollars. Everything. Wow. Well I hope you enjoyed the ride as much as I did YouTube. <laughs> <laughs>